Well, even in a mild hit like the one Andy Wallace just took, the driver's heavy helmet is bound to whip around a little bit. Could give you a sore neck. But there are drivers out there who are going to do something about that. One of those is Jim Downing, and here is his story. Of all the stresses a race driver must endure, none is more potentially devastating to his health as well as his career than the constant battle against gravity using only the strength of his neck and spine. Dr. Bob Hubbard, an automotive engineer and part-time pit crewman to his brother-in-law, Camel Lights champion Jim Downing, has worked for more than two years on a neck-saving device with two goals in mind. One is to reduce neck loading in an extreme uh, or in a crash situation, and that uh, is, it would be done by these black straps here, which are slack until, uh, until you get to the uh, extreme range of neck motion. And this other system here uh, is intended to reduce head lo uh, neck loading during uh, driving operations so the drivers wouldn't get quite so tired. So it really has two purposes. The new helmet's development has not been ignored by Downing's fellow race drivers. Oh, a lot of people have. In fact, several of them wanted to buy it. They, they call me up and say, when will it be ready? And I say, I don't know, you know, we've got to do some dummy testing, and I hope I'm not a dummy to test it. <laughs> there is your leader, Bryce Cobb, making his way around the racetrack past the wreck of Andy Wallace, and that helmet restraint piece being put together by uh, Jim Downing and his uh, brother-in-law, Bob, really could be uh, the wave of the future. Uh, shoulder pads that are connected to the helmet, keep the helmet and the head from moving around, could help avoid the kind of neck-snapping accidents that a driver like John Collagen suffered a couple of years ago that ended his career.